Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan from the Heartland Institute, here with another quick climate fact check. In this video, I'm going to touch on greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere, especially CO2, why they're important, and where they came from. I won't have time to go into great detail, but this should be a good starting point for most people. What are called greenhouse gases make up just about 2% of the total gases that make up Earth's atmosphere. But even though they are a small part of the atmosphere, they are vital for making a livable planet. Without them, no life except for organisms that can live under extreme environmental conditions could survive. Of that 2%, 95% of that is water vapor, and the rest goes to trace gases, including carbon dioxide, which makes up about 3.62% of greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide is a vital gas for life, and the amount in the atmosphere has increased and decreased throughout Earth's history, but overall, the trend has been towards a slow, significant decline. It has increased in recent decades due in part to natural releases, but also human contributions from burning fossil fuels for energy. But the recent increases started around 1850, before the internal combustion engine and before electric power generation was widespread. This coincides with the end of what is known as the Little Ice Age, and can be explained by outgassing of CO2 from the oceans as the planet warmed. Nowadays, we estimate that humans contribute about 3.4% of all CO2 added to the atmosphere. The rest of the 96.6% comes from volcanoes, decaying plants, animal activity, and other natural sources. When you take those numbers I mentioned earlier, this means that human emissions only contribute 0.28% of the warming effect from greenhouse gases on Earth, about one quarter of 1%. Looking at it by the numbers like this should help give us some perspective, and hopefully can tamp down on alarmism connected to emissions. There's no reason to believe that the modest contributions humans are making to the atmosphere threaten catastrophic climate change, as most of the plants and animals that inhabit the Earth arose during and have lived through periods of higher CO2 levels and warmer temperatures, thriving in warmth relative to cooler periods. That's all I have for this fact check. For the sources used as references in this video, you can check out climateataglance.com, where you can also download a free copy of the book Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students. If you prefer paper, you can purchase a hard copy on Amazon. We also have an app available called Climate at a Glance for Android and iPhone. Thanks for watching.